Today's lesson anti Makonikov's rule, which is known as Karas peroxide effect as well. In this lesson, we are going to learn organic peroxide reactions that involve Makonikov's rule and anti Makonikov's rule. And finally, we will see reaction mechanism that involves anti makonikov's rule so let's begin the first point is organic peroxide we know this is hydrogen peroxide molecular formula is h2o2 when these two hydrogen atoms are replaced by organic groups like methyl groups then we get dimethyl peroxide suppose this is methyl group and this is ethyl group it will be ethyl methyl peroxide suppose this is benzoyl group two oxygen atoms another benzoyl group this is benzoyl peroxide simply any organic compound having two oxygen atoms joined together that organic compound is called organic peroxide generally we can write organic group oxygen oxygen another organic group generally this is organic peroxide let's move on to the next point now the point is reactions that involve makonikov's rule and anti makonikov's rule reaction is addition reaction of unsymmetrical alkene with unsymmetrical reagent let's write the reaction unsymmetrical alkene propene and unsymmetrical reagent hydrobromic acid this reaction forms two kinds of products let's write one is ch3 ch br ch3 two bromopropene hydrogen combines with discarbon bromine combines with discarbon then we get two bromopropene another product is when hydrogen combines with this carbon and bromine combines with this carbon then we get ch2 br ch2 ch3 this is one bromopropen which compound is major product in this regard in the year 1869 Russian chemist Makonikov established a rule that rule is Makonikov's rule the complete rule is when unsymmetrical alkene undergoes addition reaction with an unsymmetrical reagent then positive part of the unsymmetrical reagent will be added to the double bonded carbon atom that contains more number of hydrogen atoms and thus the product formed will be the major product and this is around 90% this is around 10% now let's write another chemical reaction that involves anti makonikov's rule unsymmetrical reagent
with unsymmetrical alkene in presence of organic peroxide then two kinds of products will be formed those are one hydrogen will combine with this carbon then ch3 ch and bromine will combine with this carbon ch3 another product is hydrogen will combine with this carbon then ch2 br bromine will combine with this carbon in the second case ch2 ch3 two bromopropane one bromopropane same compounds like the previous reaction but this is without organic peroxide but this reaction is carried out in presence of organic peroxide because of the presence of organic peroxide percentage of products will be opposite to that reaction so in this case which product is the major product in this regard scientist kharas russian scientist in the year 1933 put forward a rule which is known as kharas peroxide effect or anti makonikov's rule the rule is when unsymmetrical alkene undergoes addition reaction with an unsymmetrical reagent in presence of organic peroxide then positive part of the unsymmetrical reagent will get added to the double bonded carbon atom that contains less number of hydrogen atoms and thus the product formed will be the major product that is now this is around 10% this is around 90% which is opposite to the makonikov's rule that is why kharas peroxide effect is known as anti makonikov's rule now the point is in case of kharas peroxide effect why this is 10% and why this is 90% that is reaction mechanism now let's see reaction mechanism that involves kharas peroxide effect or anti makonikov's rule now the point is reaction mechanism that involves kharas peroxide effect or anti makonikov's rule let's write step by step step 1 organic peroxide undergoes a homolytic fission in oxygen oxygen bond and as a result alkoxide radical is formed here two radicals alkoxide radical is formed the atom molecule or ion that has at least one unpaired electron is called radical so here organic peroxide on homolytic fission forms alkoxide radical now step 2 this alkoxide radical reacts with hydrobromic acid single bond we know covalent bond single bond consists of two electrons this alkoxide radical reacts with hydrobromic acid free radical mechanism proceeds here alcohol is formed and 
another free radical is formed which is bromine free radical this hydrogen with its electron combines with this alkoxide ion in this way alcohol is formed and this bromine is freed as bromine free radical now step 3 this bromine free radical reacts with unsymmetrical alkene this is unsymmetrical alkene this bromine free radical combines with this carbon or this carbon that means there is a chance to form two kinds of products let's write the products one is bromine free radical with this carbon then hydrogen carbon hydrogen here bromine then double bond will convert to single bond this is another carbon one electron of this bond will move here another electron of this bond will move towards this carbon so this carbon converts to carbon free radical ch3 this is h this is 2 degree carbon free radical because this carbon is linked up with two carbon atoms that is why this is 2 degree free radical this is hydrogen here and another chance is bromine will combine with this carbon then this carbon will be free radical let's write hydrogen carbon hydrogen this will be free radical carbon hydrogen here hydrogen ch3 this is another product which is one degree free radical the carbon containing one electron is linked up with one electron that is why this is one degree free radical we know that two degree free radical is stable than one degree free radical that is why two degree free radical is produced in large quantities with the same amounts of time compared to less stable one degree free radical so it is produced around 90 percent because of its stability it is produced around 10 percent because one degree free radical is less stable compared to two degree free radical with the same amounts of time the key point is here in this case two degree free radical is produced which is more stable than one degree free radical that is why it is formed in large quantities with the same amount of time let's see the next point next step is step 4 this free radical that is ch2 ch free radical here bromine ch3 this free radical reacts with another hydrobromic acid from which hydrogen free radical and bromine free radical are formed from these two free radicals one free radical will combine with this free radical here which free radical will move here hydrogen or bromine we know that 
hydrogen is smaller in size than bromine that is why hydrogen will move faster number 2 electronegativity of bromine is 2.8 and hydrogen is 2.1 here either hydrogen or bromine will combine with this carbon free radical through sharing of electron as hydrogen's electronegativity is lower than bromine so it will be easier to share electron of hydrogen to carbon free radical that is why hydrogen free radical will move here easily rather than bromine free radical and in this way compound is formed let's write the compound brch2 here this hydrogen free radical will combine ch2 ch3 that is one bromopropane which is the major product that is opposite to the makonikov's rule and minor product is this hydrogen free radical will combine with this carbon free radical that is one degree free radical then the product is that is hydrogen free radical will combine here then we get ch3 ch3 in this case it will be bromine so hydrogen free radical will combine with this carbon free radical then we get ch3 ch br here ch3 that is two bromopropane it is produced from one degree free radical which is less stable that is why it is produced around 10% because of the less stability of one degree free radical here the mistake was hydrogen it will be bromine in the first product bromine with this carbon and in the second product bromine with this carbon that is this carbon this is two degree free radical this is one degree free radical 2 degree free radical is more stable than 1 degree free radical that is why 2 degree free radical forms major compound 90% and 1 degree free radical which is less stable that forms minor compound that is 2 bromopropane so in makonikov's rule it was 1 bromopropane 10% to bromopropane was 90% but according to anti makonikov's rule which is opposite that is one bromopropane is 90% two bromopropane is 10% which is known as karas peroxide effect this is all about anti makonikov's rule which is referred to as karas peroxide effect because of the presence of organic peroxide one more point that is hydrobromic acid is applied here hydrochloric acid and hydroiodic acid are not used in anti makonikov's rule in karas peroxide effect the reason is it's a strong bond its bond energy is 430 kilojoule per mole but in this case bond energy is 378 kilojoule per mole because of this strong bond to break this bond 
huge amounts of energy is required that is why from this compound formation of free radical is difficult that is why hydrochloric acid is not used in ferrous peroxide effect that is in case of anti makonikov's rule similarly hydroiodic acid is not used as well we know hydroiodic acid is a kind of strong hydrohalic acid from which very easily proton is formed following a heterolytic fission so hydroiodic acid doesn't undergo homolytic fission to form hydrogen free radical that is why hydroiodic acid and hydrochloric acid are not used in ferrous peroxide effect only hydrobromic acid is suitable in this case this is all about ferrous peroxide effect or anti makonikov's rule number today thank you very much